Hello everybody, this is Sam Gregory and welcome to another one of these photo speed videos. And this month, January 2022, we are focusing on shooting in your local area. So I'm just gonna have a little walk around here for the next few minutes and tell you some tips and tricks I have through experience uh, of good and bad of shooting in your local area and making the most of it. And this accompanies a blog with some images that I've put up on the Photospeed website this month as well. So do check that out. Uh, but for now, stay with me for a few minutes and we'll talk through some of the things I think are important if you want to make sure you get the most of your local photographic opportunities. So I think the first thing is actually a mental challenge is knowing that your local area is not necessarily the sweeping beaches of Iceland, uh, some amazing mountains in the Lake District or Scotland. You know, it's a mental battle. We all think that we want what we don't have. So uh, I live in Dorset, which is wonderful, and lots of people admire and, and enjoy photographing here. But there are millions of things I'd like, mountains, snow, sandy beaches. Uh, and I think it's very easy sometimes for us to get to our local area and see that it's not quite some of those amazing destinations that we see on Instagram or Twitter or YouTube. And we think, oh, it's not quite as good as that. It hasn't got this, it hasn't got that. We need to get past what it hasn't got and start thinking about what it does have. So don't lament what you're missing. Try and enjoy what you do have and work with that. Okay, the next thing I want to talk about is working in projects and also working at a slightly different scale. So first up, let's deal with projects. Anyone who's seen any of my work on my website or social media, whatever it might be, you'll see that generally I prefer to work in projects. What does that mean? It means groups of images. Some of that might be as small as eight or 10. Others might be as big as 20 or 30 or 40. And some of them might be over a few months. Some of them might be over a few years. Now, the reason I'm mentioning it in this video is I think if you're working locally, there's often a pressure with time. You might only get out for an hour or two and you think, ah, I need, I need the conditions to be right. I need X, Y, Z to happen. Try and drop that and think of the fact that you're working in your area over an extended period. It's not just that one morning, it might be months. And keep going back to the same place or places where you have an idea about what you wanna do. And those repeat visits, repeat visits, uh, will help you put together a little project, a little body of work. It might just be even six or eight images that you can hang together or that you can exhibit or that you can have a little sign or a book, or whatever it might be. That's a great start for focusing your mind. Now, on top of working in projects, I would think about the scale of the things you're trying to shoot. We mentioned earlier that you might not have sweeping magical vistas on your local landscape. So think about the small details. Think about the inner landscape. Think about working on a, on a more macro sort of scale. So change how you approach the subjects around you. I would suggest perhaps not thinking quite as wide and start quite small scale. Maybe just go out with a longer lens on the body. Leave that on throughout a few trips, get used to seeing at those longer focal lengths, pick out little details that work and start to tell the story visually of those local areas. Now I mentioned putting together little exhibitions or little bodies of work. And what you'll find in my experience is that local people love local work. Now you and I might go to wherever it may be all around the world and have a fantastic time and remember that gorgeous sunset we had or the time those conditions are so amazing up that mountain. Now the likelihood is your potential local buyer doesn't connect to that scene. They don't know that whole backstory that you enjoyed and had that great time out there, wherever it may be. And I think I've certainly had a lot more joy selling and, you know, getting traction with work in the local area when it's been about local scenes. People want something they know. That's the general rule that happens. And if they see a local scene either told in a story or reinterpreted or seen in conditions that they haven't seen it in, they're much more likely to want to buy it. So get your work out there locally, any local art fairs, any local exhibitions, uh, and see if you uh, can connect that work from the places that you love to the people around you, because it's likely that they will love it and appreciate it as well. Now, my final thought is to buddy up, uh, which sounds a bit weird, doesn't it? But what I mean is photography can be quite a lonely experience. Now, a lot of us quite enjoy that part of it. I certainly do and we value our time out in the landscape and we value being alone actually, I think, during that. However, it can be a little bit of a lonely affair if you only ever do that. Finding someone else locally 
that appreciates the area, appreciates photography, likes going out, will give you that ex extra inspiration sometimes to get out, someone else to encourage you if, if, it, if it's feeling cold and dark when you're in bed and you think, oh God, I've got to go because blah, blah, blah is coming with me. That's a good thing because remember, we want to get out as much as we can. Also, someone else locally might have knowledge about different locations that you don't. And also just having someone else to talk about your work with and talk about their work, you will learn things just from talking to each other about your work or the work of other people that you enjoy seeing as well. So try and find a buddy that you can call on locally to explore the photographic area. Uh, and I think that'll be really worthwhile. Now, just wrapping this video up, hope you found some of those tips and tricks interesting. I know there's nothing totally new there, but it's things I think sometimes we need reminding of that we just kind of take for granted sometimes. Now in the coming weeks, um, if you want to share some of your work with us, just use the hashtag FSLocalArea on social media and you'll be in with a chance to win some lovely prizes from the team at Photospeed. Uh, but for now, thank you for watching. Do subscribe if you want more from me and the rest of the Photospeed team. And I encourage you all absolutely to get out and shoot as much as you can locally. Thank you and goodbye for now.